It's time to make Animal Crossing New Horizons fun again. ACNH hard mode. Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how I will be playing New Horizons in 2023. Obviously this game has been out for what, three years now? Coming out in 2020, a dark time for most of us. And uh, I've decided to make a new game mode to really test veteran players and new players alike. And it's a community event too. The more people that participate, the better time we're gonna have. So Pat, put the graphic on the screen. Pat, put the graphic on the screen. Seriously, I got stuff to do. Okay, there we go. ACNH hard mode, the rules. Uh, those are all the rules. It kind of looks very intimidating, but I'm gonna take it off the screen right now because I want to go over it. I want to go over it in details, answer any questions that you might have. So let's start off with the first thing. You have to restart. You have to start from nothing. No bells, no materials, nothing. And that's kind of the beauty of this mode is to kind of go back to when we first started, you know, whether it was 2020 for you, 2021, whatever. I want to start from scratch and really like really take our time, I guess, with Animal Crossing. Now, when you first start off, obviously you are shown four different map options. You choose your map. I don't know, how long does it take you to choose your map? It takes me a while, but you choose your map, you load in, you see your starting villagers, and you might be thinking, I don't like this map. I don't like the villagers. I want to re-roll. You can have one re-roll in ACNH hard mode. I was nice about that. But there are penalties to re-rolling your four map options. We'll get to that later. Also, another kind of fun thing that I thought was cute, you have to use a name generator for your island. So who could, man, who could forget the great island slush well? Uh, that's right near York Wall. And man, it's the perfect time of year to visit Queen Sticks. How can we get, how can we forget about Queen Sticks? And listen, Name generator, you can you can randomize the name as many times as you want, but your name has to come from a name generator. I think it's fun. And when else would you name your island Pastrana? Huh? When would you ever name your island Lilicorn? Or South Colds? That's like, not that doesn't even make sense. Now, in addition to naming your island and starting over, there are actually some villager rules as well. So, let's go back to your starter villagers. You have to... Whenever a villager is thinking, you have to talk to them. Whenever a villager wants to leave, you have to let them go. Whenever there's a villager in the campsite, you have to move them in and whoever they want, gone, gone. But the starter villagers, you have to get their photo for them to move out. If you re-roll your island, you have to get both of their photos, pictures, whatever, before they can move out. So this mode is all about trying new things, and that includes villagers, which is exciting because I feel like I see the same 10 villagers on every single island, but this way, if they ask to leave, they're gone. Now, I'm not going into full detail of all the rules because they are posted in Discord, which should be the pinned comment. Again, it's it, a lot of people are hyped about this. If you go into the Discord right now, there's a whole ACNH hardcore section. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people started already. I'm actually starting today. Uh, so I will be skipping around on some of the rules, but there is also a dailies list that you have to do every single day. Let me put that on the screen for you. You're, you're able to like screenshot this video or whatever if you want to participate. But here's the daily checklist, six different things. You have to do all the two-time Nook Mile goals. You have to stretch every day, water crops every day, the NPC quest, which I think I have an NPC today. So that would fall under that. So who do I have today? Okay, Mabel, Le LaBelle. See, I don't even know her name. I never do her quest, but you have to do all the NPC quests. You have to buy at least one thing from Nook's Cranny and Abel's, and you have to get your fortune told from Katrina. So there are some daily things that you need to get done every day. I think a lot of these, maybe I do like half of these in my normal playthrough. So it should be pretty fun. 
You might have seen my amazing shirt already, but hard mode also makes you design, okay? You have to become a pro designer. So in hard mode, you can only wear things that you create. I think that's amazing for a couple things, for a couple reasons. Everyone is going to look unique. Everyone's island is going to be unique because, by the way, you know these amazing patterns that we always use? Gone. We have to make every pattern ourselves, every clothing option yourself. And you know what? For a first attempt, what do you mean, what is it? It's a skull. It's not that bad. But you have to design your own stuff. Now we go into some interesting things in hard mode. And this is, I think, where... I mean, the design, the custom clothes and custom paths and stuff, that is very exciting. But here's where it gets a little bit dicey, okay? So here are some of the economy rules for this mode. And as you can see here, I have a little garden set up. And that is because to make money in this mode, you can only have four three by three plots for crops. And to harvest them, they have to be in bunches of three, which means you have to water them every single day, which I never really water crops. I gotta be honest. But in this mode, you have to, because if your crops are like this, oops, I forgot to water these. I can't sell those potatoes. They're only in groups of one. So those are a waste. The other ones I can sell though. So that's not too bad. Also, you can only have nine fruit trees that you can sell from. This is really to sort of stunt the economy and make things more valuable in this mode. And I like that because I feel like oftentimes everyone just like powers through Animal Crossing and like a million bells is just a million bells. You know, nothing really has value to it. So this way you're growing crops, you're harvesting fruit. These things right here, like, uh, you know, all the things that you can harvest, shells, mushrooms, coconuts, flour, whatever, you can also sell too. But since I'm a fan of like Stardew and Farm Sims, of course I had to throw in a twist. So if you've ever played the farming games like Stardew, like Story of Seasons, when you sell your crops and, you know, your mushrooms and things like that, you don't get the money right away. And I wanted to continue that in hardcore mode because you can only sell your crops, your fruit, your mushrooms, things like that in the nook box. This is the drop off box. We probably use this in a pinch if we're feeling lazy or something, but now we can sell the white pumpkins, which by the way, are worth 20% 20, 20 less. I think it's either 20 or 25% less if we put it in the box. And if we sell it, we don't get the money till tomorrow. So I'm not only cutting the ways to make money down, but I'm also limiting how much money you can get and you gotta wait a day to even get the money. Is it hard enough yet? Is this, is this mode hard enough yet? In addition to these rules, you can only sell bugs to Flick, fish to CJ, weeds to Leaf. So even if you have all of these fish, even if you have all these expensive bugs, you have to wait till certain NPCs visit your island, which is just another way to limit the economy. I'm, I'm... I can't wait to do this. It sounds so fun. And then finally, 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 finally. And again, all of these rules are posted on Discord. So if you're like, what the heck is going on right now? Check out the rules. It's not too crazy. There is a lot, but like once you read them and get used to them, I think it's going to be second nature. This is probably my favorite thing. This is called Market Sundays. Okay, so everyone that is competing in hard mode is going to be able to host their own yard sale, flea market, whatever you want on their island. Now you can only sell up to 10 things and you can only have five people on your island buying these, but this is such a cool way to get the items that you want, but staying involved with the community and keeping the community aspect. So I could go to someone's island and be like, oh my God, I've been looking everywhere for a mountain bike. How much do you want for it? And, you know, you can barter, you can do all the, okay, 10,000, that's a little steep, but you know what, I haven't seen it, I can add it to my catalog, here you go, the bike is coming home with me. I love the idea of a yard sale, I think it, I think it's so great. You can sell Nook Mile tickets, you can sell customization kits, it's endless, but this only happens Sunday, so you gotta kinda, like, organize and prepare for that. And also, if you visit someone's island, 
You gotta pay an admission fee. A thousand? No, that's not enough. Come on. This, these are markets, okay? 2,000 bells. You have to submit 2,000 bells to even enter their flea market. And you have to submit those 2,000 before you even see what they're selling. So that's another risk that you're taking. So there you go. That is Animal Crossing hard mode. This will be more of a stream series on my channel. So if you are interested and you want to participate, definitely, like I said, join the Discord. The pinned comment is right there. The link is right there. Join in, say hello. It is going to be in the ACNH hardcore channel. I will put the hard mode rules on the screen right now. If you want to screenshot this, you could play along. It would be super fun. So there you go. There's the hard mode rules. And here you go. Here is the daily checklist if you want to screenshot that. Also, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on stream. I'm going to be streaming later today. And this should be fun. Again, it's just a way to kind of like slow down a little bit. Enjoy the little things in Animal Crossing, like fishing, catching bugs, dancing like an idiot. Let's all slow down a little bit. Good luck, hard mode players. I'll see you on the battlefield.